so on the 12th day of january 2024 the uh, supreme court passed the judgment on the um, petition that was filed against the executive governor of abia state dr alex ot and yes they declared him him the winner of the 2023 general election governorship election and reaffirm his status into office as the duly governor of abia state well he did a wonderful and a unique thanksgiving speech where he talked about a lot of things new ideas for the people of abia state it was an awesome time to see the governor and his aides and everyone around him celebrate this victory in the beautiful city of abba abia state like he does say that his all his attention are in are in abia state in abba to be precise here's the video don't forget to subscribe Excellent thing. distinguished ladies and gentlemen let me start by thanking god for all what he has done uh, state. Moments ago, the Supreme Court gave a final declaration on the appeals by both the PDP and the APC governorship candidates for the 2023 election that happened on the 18th of March. Whose result was announced four days after on the 22nd of March 2023. After the declaration there were a retinue of cases that were filed at different courts in the land. And the most prominent for which judgment was given was the one at Kano Federal High Court. That judgment was to be effect that the inauguration should not happen on the 29th of May, 2023. Our team of lawyers responded promptly and filed an appeal and got an injunction restraining the People who filed, but at that time it wasn't very clear, those behind that seat. This hearing happened on the 29th of May 2023, and governance started immediately thereafter. Subsequently, the PDP candidate and his counterpart in APC went to the tribunal and lost at the tribunal. They appealed to the Owere Court of Appeal and uh, a panel was set up on the 2nd of December 2023 judgment was delivered on that appeal and to the glory of God we won for the APC and PPP candidates on the basis of that I had written personal letters to the candidates of APC and PDP, not because I feared that anything to the contrary will happen today, but I thought that we were spending a lot of money and uh, putting the state uh, in a state of fear and trepidation. 
So I had appealed to them not to proceed with the Supreme Court. And I had also recommended that the money that we are going to be spent paying lawyers and all the logistics will be spent wisely in developing their different communities. Unfortunately, that appeal was heeded to the contrary. And they proceeded to the certain court. We want to thank God that moments ago, the Supreme Court gave his judgment. And in his well considered opinion, the Supreme Court reaffirmed our victory, not just at the polls, but at the tribunal and then the appeal tribunal. So we want to start by thanking God for the victory that actually started in 2015 and was affirmed today. We also want to thank the other people who have stood solidly behind us since we took the principal system of running to rescue Adia State from decay and dilapidation. We also want to thank Nigerians who have embraced our governance model and have a different quora said positive things about what is happening in Adia State today. We want to thank the judiciary for being firm and not letting itself be derailed by smart arguments from lawyers. Today, the judiciary has affirmed that understanding that it is the last hope of the common man. Also, congratulate all the other colleagues that won today and even before now. Cross River State was, I mean, my Alpine Home State was here today, my friend and brother, but for an or more. Congratulations. Earlier today, my friend and brother, Major uh, State Governor, uh, Governor Sowolu, was declared winner. There was also um, Slatu, Governor Mukwan, was also declared winner. My friend and brother, Zampara State Governor, uh, Dr. Dada Lawa, was also declared winner. Congratulations. Of course, I talked about Kanu, Bala Mohamed of Balti, was also declared winner today. Congratulations to you. Barista Wifu, Right Honorable, was also declared winner today. The Boyan State Governor, congratulations. And uh, others before them today, I want to congratulate all the winners. And the same message I have for my opponents in Asia is the same message to their opponents in different states. We should now not look for another cause to go to. We should take your thoughts, bring your ideas, sit together as brothers and sisters for the development of your respective states. I want to thank His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Bola Ahmed Sinubu, for the remaining time to the result that judiciary will be in the time. If he did not do that, some of the judgments and verdicts that we are getting today may have been different. And that is why today earlier, the NMPP governor of Tano State was returned, even though he lost at the lower tribunal and at the court of appeal. I want to encourage him to continue in that life. I believe that his non-intervention in 
the judiciary and produce positive results for the country today. A few cases people were getting ready to burn down cases today, they have treated their son, their son because the rule of law is there. Thank you. Thank you.